Well, the world of luxury motoring is about to see a big change towards the end of this year as BMW deploy two new flagship models. The all new 7 Series with a petrol engine and mild hybrid system, and this, the first ever BMW i7, an all electric flagship for the road. Let's take a closer look. Priced from $297,900 before options and on-road costs, the all-electric i7 xDrive 60 may sit at the top of the pricing spectrum, but it's only 10% more expensive than the petrol-electric BMW 740i. It's powered by a pair of electric motors and a 106 kilowatt hour battery pack, which offer an output of 400 kilowatts and 745 newton meters through all four wheels. The 0 to 100 km an hour sprint can be achieved in 4.7 seconds and it can recharge at a maximum rate of 195 kilowatts. Well, of course, the first thing you notice about the i7 is its size. This is a big, big car and it's quite interesting. We saw the photos when this car was internationally revealed and there was a lot of, well, I guess, uh, controversy around particularly the front end of the car. And you can probably see the elements here are next level. You've got Swarovski crystals here that glisten in the sun when you unlock the vehicle. You've got your daylight running lamps at the top, but then the main and high beam LED systems down here to present a multi-tiered face to the vehicle. But the thing you notice the most, and even in this matte black paint, it's enormous. It is longer and wider and taller than the previous generation 7 series. You're basically talking Rolls-Royce Phantom style sizes. Now, there's no L in the name. There is only one wheelbase, a long wheelbase. And look, I don't know how best to describe this car. You do need to see it in the metal. It is almost slab sided along there. You can probably see, and I guess the matte black paint is actually doing a really good job of showing this. There's no real elements of uh, kinks and, and, and messy features along the side. It is just a big, smooth, enormous slab-sided limousine. But where other brands are looking at electrified technology as a way of promoting performance, BMW is basically making an all-in play here, making electrified technology the next word in luxury. Let's take a look inside and I'll explain what I mean. Now, before we jump inside, let's just take a quick look at the door because if anything typifies the, the, the direction that the i7 is going in, it's how to get inside. So you've got a standard handle here where you can reach up uh, underneath and press a touchpad. There is another touchpad here on the outside which pops the door open. Now the door itself is electrically assisted so I can glide it out there with barely any effort at all and that is a, a heavy, heavy door. But then, if all of that is too hard, the car's doors can be opened remotely. Not bad. Right, well, inside the i7, you can see these seats are a beautiful wool cashmere blend, like my jacket. And if you're wondering where the world's semiconductor shortages come from and where all those semiconductors ended up, they're in this car. The level of technology is Honestly, it's next level. You've got a backlit crystalline display here on the dashboard that you can change the color of. In fact, let's go from our uh, lovely ocean blue through to, oh, I don't know, maybe a papaya orange. You've got touch screens for the uh, climate controls for every passenger around the car. There are elements of open pore wood, of glass, of wool, uh, a lot of recycled materials that are basically trying to position the i7 as this, I guess, sensory experience far much more than actually a car. And in reality, even though you have greater than 400 kilowatts and more than, I think, 700 newton meters, and you've got 600 kilometers of range, and it's a 100 plus kilowatt hour battery, and it's all wheel drive, etc., etc., you've got to ask yourself, do you want to spend time here or do you want to step back there and see where next level really goes next level? This is the future. Why bother closing your own doors? So look, the back of the i7, this is a long wheelbase limousine every day of the week. It is very roomy. This bench is deliciously comfortable. I don't know why we haven't had more cars with wool interior more often. It's great. But what next? Well, 
you've got a center console here, which has got a wireless charge pad, there's storage in the middle here, and you've got this wonderful heavy aluminum trim on the outside. In the doors, you have a basically a telephone uh, style uh, touchscreen that allows you to control elements of the car, your heating, your cooling, the seat position. But perhaps the coolest feature is this, a fold down 36 or 33 inch uh, <laughs> cinema screen that comes down from the roof. Now, you can probably hear all the blinds have closed. It's adjusted my seat. You can hear the sound processor going. This car has 39 speakers in it. So it is basically a mobile cinema experience. You can move this seat out of your way. If you watch this, I can go into proper most important passenger uh, position. And we'll just let it move while we talk for optimal luxury. And it's like I was saying earlier, BMW have taken this and said, yeah, okay, it's an electric car. It can do all the things electric cars can do. You've got range, you've got performance, you've got all wheel drive. It's quiet, it's comfortable. The thing runs on air suspension naturally, but rather than use the technology to create a performance leader, let's really, really turn up the dial as my footrest comes out to create a luxury leader. And with elements like this screen, which even includes a camera in there so you can do video conferencing here from the back, you've got a, I guess, a mobile luxury apartment uh, that can basically chew up the miles if you are a captain of industry or other well-to-do and well-heeled person getting around the country day in, day out. Now, obviously this technology will filter down to other models. We should start to see some of this stuff on, on uh, perhaps not so flagship cars within the next few years. But what BMW have done here in order to create a high watermark of what can be done is really quite impressive. And in the same way that we saw Porsche use their electrified technology to look at outright and repeatable performance. Mercedes-Benz with the EQS have said, we're gonna use it to uh, create a performance platform that can be tuned and dialed into whatever we want. And now BMW are saying, we're gonna make an opulent luxury platform. And it is a window into what the next evolution of comfortable motoring is gonna be. So I'll leave you with that. I'm gonna sit back and watch a movie. This basically streams Amazon too, by the way, so you can have whatever you want on the go. It is very impressive. And hopefully we'll get our hands on an i7 on the road uh, later this year to see what it is like in a real environment. Because sitting here, pressing buttons and, and having a bit of fun with it, it really is a, uh, a bit of a wow piece as to what it's like on the road. I can't wait to find out. Now, if you've liked this clip, hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to tap the bell icon to receive a notification every time I sit in the back of a really expensive car and tell you how good it is to be me. You'll be pretty impressed too that I'm camouflaged in my wool blend suit for these wool blend uh, seats, but if you've got any comments or questions about the i7 or BMW's next generation of both electric and, and luxury vehicles, hit us up in the comments below. And of course, you can read up on everything you need to know about this car over at drive.com.au.